I'm about to give a speech at a Toastmasters club. It's called Thank You, Jesus. And I gave the speech about a month ago at another Toastmasters club, my larger Toastmasters club. This speech comes from a, not a Christian standpoint, but a historical and spiritual standpoint. And it basically talks about how Jesus showed a spiritual way to a lot of people who at the time were engrossed in the rules of the current orthodoxy. I think the Pharisees were the people who kept that orthodoxy in place. And Jesus came and talked to them about deeper things, things that contained um, spiritual knowledge, the spirit. And his manner, his way, his all those things inspired people very, very, very deeply. And therein lies the reason why there's a religion based on him. And th that religion in particular has created, has formed the structure of a lot of societies such as the United States. The, the, while the Constitution is secular, it's based in um, Christian principles. And being born in the U.S. and having lived here for my whole life, or almost all of it, with the exception of going to India from time to time, I, uh, it's baked into my reality. But it's very easy to conceive a reality in which we didn't have rule of law, we didn't have uh, the work ethic that, that is sponsored by the government, so to say, which is more libertarian principles. Um, it's very easy to see I don't know if work ethic is tied to libertarianism, but my point is that it's very easy to see how deeply Jesus himself influenced the very creation of this country, which happened more than a millennia after his death. Not that he did it himself, but that people who made a religion based on him, th those principles turned into what is the United States. And the United States has been such a force in the world, especially since World War II. It polices the world, it keeps it safe. There's some good, there's some bad, but it's overwhelmingly good. So that's one thing. Um, Jesus' ability to love those who were crucifying him is a very monumental thing. And in, on this spiritual channel, I talk quite a bit about the ego or the personalized identity. So on the personalized identity, you don't like anybody who's doing anything bad to you at all. I mean, someone who steals from you, someone who does something, insults you. Uh, Jesus loved those who were killing him, the literal worst thing you can do to a person. He loved them as God would love them. Th therein lies his power. His power was that he could channel God. And that's why he did not walk as a normal man, but he walked as Jesus. That's why he walked as somebody who could inspire the masses. There was something different about him. And for all the ways that he's affected society today, in the year 2021, 2021 years after his death, uh, I thank him. And it's, it's worthy to know and understand because there are a lot of people who spiritual people especially, who uh, disregard religion. And I think there's a lot to be learned from religion. Religion is a bounded thing. There, there are set and fixed rules, although those are flexible in a lot of cases. There are many different sects and denominations of Christianity as well as other religions. But the, the, there is a lot of wisdom and truth based in religions. And I think any person should study Christianity and other religions. But this is just my little aside to Jesus. So and I also, also do this because I wanted to sort of get in the mood and re-remember my points before I gave my speech. But I hope you enjoyed this.